Hello, everybody. I'm just going to wait a little bit until some people show up. You'll start in a minute here. We'll wait till some people show up. Well, starting to grow. That's good. Yep. We're going to start this uh, raccoon here in a little bit. Hello, Christine. All right. A couple more minutes. Uh, another 30 seconds or so, and then I'll start. Okay. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hello. All right, I think we'll start. Hi, Jane. I see you popped in today. Very good. All right, I'm going to start. We're going to start on this little guy here by popular demand. We are going to do the little raccoon. And the raccoon is not much different than the cat. The only difference is... Uh, um, hello, hello. Hi, Jack and Jenny. Um, just a little update, Jack and Jenny. Things are still not settled. Uh, what we talked about yesterday, so it's going to be a while, I think. But anyway, I'll update you on all that later. Hello, Arnold. Wow, we're getting quite a uh, quite a crowd in. Okay, just give it a couple more seconds here, and we'll start. Oh, I'm glad. Thank you, Todd. Okay, we're going to start here. All right, so now we have a. This is the ornament series, as we've been doing all along, um, for a, a few weeks now. And I showed you a bunch of these different ones that we're doing. And one of the ones that people really wanted to do was the raccoon. So I started to mark it off. It's going to be more than halfway up, maybe an inch and not quite a quarter. Maybe an inch and uh, three-eighths up. We're going to put a straight line straight across. And we're going to make it the same all the way around. So when I do it, of course... I do it with measuring with my finger and taking it across and I go, notice this is resting on the top and we go all the way around and usually that matches all those corners at the exact same spot. It keeps it very even. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, notch out the corners as we normally do. Let's see if I can find the right knife here. There we go. And doesn't and you have to kind of figure out which is going to be the front and which is going to be the back. So we're going to make this the front. All right. I already have the ears kind of marked out already, but let's just go to each corner and we're just going to put a nice triangular cut on each one. Now, when you do the one right underneath his mouth, you don't want to go too crazy going too wide with it. All right, so uh, you just want to take a little ways here. Once we get all four corners cut, we're going to go ahead and use our V tool so you can get that ready if you're carving along. Most people will watch and then carve it later. And this will be up on YouTube probably within an hour and a half after we get off the line here. If you're watching on YouTube, um, you're finding me there. Uh, I usually do this every Tuesday night, but next Tuesday is election day, so we are not doing anything that day. I think we're all going to be glued to our TVs. Some of us will be. And... Uh, 
I decided I was not going to have anything. Somebody told me, well, why don't you have it anyway? The results don't come in until much later in the evening anyhow. But no, I think I'll just go ahead and uh, skip next week. So I'll be back in two weeks, and I might have a little bit of a surprise for you, something a little different. I think you'll, you'll enjoy it. I have it in my head. I still have to make one for myself yet. So I might go. It'll be a mystery till then. Okay, if I get it done, then I'll tell you what it is. If not, we'll probably do the turkey or one of the other projects I had listed last week. So if this is the front, um, you know, we're going to just start going a little bit deeper in the front here. All right, and we're going to the side, I'm going to go a little higher on the side. Because, as you can see, there's a really a big V-cut right here. All right. So, you lost the sound? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think it's us. Hopefully. Anybody else not hearing me? I don't see anybody else. Lost that. Let's see. Okay, so each side's going to be done. I'm going to go in pretty far on each side. I always use my thumbs as a way to put pressure on. I don't use my hand, I always use my thumb to put pressure on it. And the back side we're going to go in a little deeper as well because we have this little tail on the back. So We're just going to keep chopping here. The bodies are all basically the same as the cat, and it's just a little bit varied. You know, the legs are a little bit thinner, and things aren't pronounced as much. But, um, oh good, thank you, Jack. So, here we're trying to do more of a V-cut on the sides. Alright, so, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go a little further here. Alright, now... I haven't done this in a little while, so it's going to take me a little bit of figuring out how I did this. Um, okay. At the top, a little bit before that corner, you want to go straight in. All right, so we're going to go, just like the cat ears, you're going to go straight in. be a little bit at an angle but not much. You can go real straight if you want but a little bit at an angle is good. So we're just going to start chopping out a little bit. And I have it marked down here as well how far I want to go and I kind of marked it up here how far I want it to go. So we're just going to start chop chop chop. Alright and then we're going to do the other side the same way. Um, it sounds like a lot of places are getting locked down again, or we're in our second wave with the COVID. Some people say we're in the third wave. I don't know if that's correct or not. I think we're in the second wave uh, in the States here, anyway. And um, it has really um, put a damper on our holidays. It will, anyway. All right, so now I'm going to go more towards that corner. All right, and we're going to just pop that out a little bit more there, and we're going to pop that out. There we go. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start shaping the front of the head. Now, on the cat, it was a little bit different. The cat was more rounded. This is going to have a smaller uh, face or snout and then this is going to be like um, curved out all right if you look at it you can see that it's still kind of flat but it gives it the illusion that it looks like it's flat or curved out a little bit so um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to round this off a little bit here 
And the other thing I need to do is figure out where that little mouth is going to go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to mark one side, the other side, so it's about the same. And then we're going to, okay, I see what, so we're going to come up like so. Let's see if that will do it. Let me see if that's the same size. Hard for me to do some of this behind the camera here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to. I'm going to put a little notch right at the top here. I'm not going to worry about this so much down here. Um, we want to make sure we get the nose in there. So we're going to put a little triangular, a little B cut right there. And we're going to bring this up just a little bit more. And we're going to just cut it. All right. And then we're going to bring this... We're not going to bring that down completely yet, but we're going to start rounding off the head a little bit. And the other thing we need to do is we need to put where his nose and snout are going to be on top of where his mouth is here. And then we're going to have to put his eyes in. So the way I do this is we, I bring this down like a, it's a big it comes up, all right, and then it goes down and around. So it's like a one big hook. Okay, you want to do that to both sides. So I'm going to do that back here so I have a better look at it. And um, I'm just going to hurry up and do this real quick. All right, just like so. All right, so we're going to bring this out a little further. That's kind of what you're looking to get here, all right? So I'm going to take the little V tool, and I'm just going to follow this line out first. Very lightly, I'm going to just kind of follow this out a little bit. Okay, just like so. Oops, that's not the V tool. Wrong one. Should have noticed that when I was busy with it. Let's see here. Uh, let's try this again. Very lightly, I'm going to go around here and just do the... Well, they're both nice and sharp anyway. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing over here. Uh, yes, I've moved to the farm. I'm still in the process of selling my house, so, um, I'm hopefully we'll settle this, this Friday. I'm not sure yet. If everything goes well and as planned. Okay, so that's what we have right now. Let me see if I can straighten this out a little bit. And I'm also going to go around the mouth part as well. And I'll clean this all up in a minute here. This just, just helps me to guide where to go here. So, yes, technically I've already moved here to the farm. I had to, I did it back the last part of August because of, and I've been living here anyway with taking care of my mom. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> that's been a little bit. So right here we're going to put a little triangular cut. I'm going to stick my my knife in there a little bit and I'm going to kind of round this off I round this off down here all right and then there's gonna be a little cut right there now I can use the V tool will make it nice and even just like so all right and then you can kind of follow each side a little bit with it yeah, the reason I um, did it in August officially is uh, I wanted to make sure I could vote in my township here. And I've already voted, so I already did mine um, a couple weeks ago. So, 
Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to follow this out. We're going to follow this out again with where we have where we have this. Just like you do the Santa faces, it's the same thing. You're going, you're going up, and then you're going to make it exactly even or uh, parallel to that to that corner. Okay. So every time you cut from the corner, you want to make sure that you're not cutting inward. You're cutting right alongside the nose, not into the nose. Okay. So we're gonna. Take some of this out. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. I'm going to do the other side as well. I never knew how much work it was to sell a house. It's just awful. I don't want to do it anytime soon again or move. I'll stick here at the farm for a while. All right, so I'm going to do this back here so it's even. Hang on. It looks very uneven right now, so let me just see if I can fix this a little bit. Okay. There we go. All right. So right here, we're going to notch the ear out a little bit. One. And... We're just gonna, all right, just like so. This is kind of you want this kind of like a point. Okay, see how this is like a point on both sides. All right. Oh, hi, Derek. How are you? And we're gonna bring this down a little bit more. We're gonna round this off, and we're gonna start trimming this. This out a little bit more here. And we're going to trim some of this down because it's going to be too, too square. We're going to round off the back side as well. We're going to start doing that. Say hi to Jess, Derek. I did talk to your mother today. We actually had a phone chat or a video chat, which was nice. Since I can't see my family because they're all in Canada, it's nice to be able to video chat every so often. Um, oh, thank you, Wyatt. All right. Thank you. Yeah, everything's okay here. Things are moving along. So we're going we're gonna to chop this side as, out as well. And, uh, oh, there's my sister. Hello, Annie. The whole family's watching today. Okay. So, we're working on this little guy here. Now, we're going to come down around the nose a little bit. And we're going to cut that out. Right along the snout there. All right. We'll figure all that out in a little bit here. And we're going to go on the other side as well. We're going to cut a little bit more. Again, I'm cutting it exactly inward. I'm not cutting into his face or into his cheek straight in. All right, bye-bye, Derek. Have fun. I heard Canada got a little bit of snow today. <laughs> Better you guys than us. I'm not ready for that at all. So I'm going to go in a little deeper here again. I'm going to spray this for a second. Okay. What I use is uh, rubbing alcohol and water. Alright, so this is, we're going to kind of bring this in a little bit. We're going to sort of bring this in. I'm going to sweep this out a little bit here. Okay. 
And let me take a look at this, his eyes a little bit. This is going to come out a little bit more. Now, raccoons have beady little eyes. Um, oh, I the video that Ann showed me, the, they had a little bit of wet snow up their way. So, no, you guys can have it. I remember one year we had it right around the end of October. It was so unusual for us. And um, I'm going to go deeper on both sides because it's not deep enough for me. Because we're going to trim more off. And uh, it was so weird because we had all the leaves on the trees yet. They weren't off yet. It was so heavy. It was breaking so many branches. I believe Anne was here at the time. My sister was here when that happened. And boy, was there a lot of cleanup from that. That was such a mess. They're calling for a mild winter here. Huh, we'll see. I don't trust anything they say. How do they know? All right. So anyway, so we're going to do the top of the, the head as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and round this off up here and over here. So we're just going to do a little notch. That's what all I usually do is a Nice firm notch. Like that. Okay. And the same thing over here. We're going to just notch it out a little bit. Again, we're not going to be doing anything next week. Because um, we in the U.S. have an election coming up. And we're all anticipating a great time. So, okay. so, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this point over here a little bit more. It doesn't look right to me, so I'm going to start scooping out a little bit more at the corner. Okay, perfect. That's what I want. And this is going to be a lot deeper here. We're going to redig this out a little bit more underneath the neck. Hey, Ruthie, thanks for joining us. Uh, you're not late. You can watch it on uh, YouTube later if you choose to. All right. So. I'm going to make it a little bit deeper again here. And we're just going to go back and forth with your knife. And a slicing motion usually works pretty good. And that gives it some depth. Okay, we're going to. Clean that a little bit there. All right. Now we're just going to dig this out a little bit more. So it looks like it's, it's swept out, just like so. And we'll do the... <laughs> yeah, I usually have it on YouTube after about an hour, hour and a half. It depends how fast it will load and how long the video is but it doesn't take me too long I'm you know with new technology it just goes so much faster than the old days what I mean by the old days is like even just 10 years ago yeah it constantly gets quicker and quicker all right so now we have this pretty well done here this is a rough rider knife. Now, people have asked, where do I get it? I got it on eBay, and what I'll do is... Hello, Peter. Boy, all my family's showing up today. Uh, whoops. Let me back this up. Whoops. We don't want to lose that. Okay. Hello, Peter. Okay, so we're going to scoop this out. Your brother was just here. Derek was just here, too. All right, so... I'm going to dig that a little further, and let me see if I can just dig this out a little bit further here. There we go. Okay. It's very hard to get both sides to, you know, this looks like it's sticking out a little further than I like, so we're going to just trim that off a little bit. All right, there we go. So, it's pretty well the head now, and we're going to just trim everything off in the back as well so all right we're 
we're just trimming it down. We're going to take this off here, round his head off a little bit. Now it will always look a little bit square because when you do this, excuse me, when you do this, uh, oh, I like to show my family something. Does this mug look familiar? Aha, Royal Masonry, there you go. I'm drinking my hot chocolate out of it tonight. I thought you'd be interested in seeing that. I love those mugs. I'm always dead. Anyway, um, let's see if I can just trim this out a little bit more. There we go. All right, so I really want that sticking out quite a ways. There we go. This can come down a little bit more. And what you do a lot of times, you're going to get rid of all this rough stuff everywhere. All right. That is one thing you want to do is get rid of that rough stuff. And um, so it looks a little uneven. And I don't know why. Okay. All right. We're going to start with, we're going to keep working on the head a little bit more. Uh, we'll work on the ears a little bit later. We're going to work on the body a little bit now. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, that's okay, Jim. You can watch it on YouTube later. It will be on in about an hour or so. So we're going to put little, they have little feet, little creepy looking feet, actually. <laughs> we have a bunch of them on our deck once in a while, and um, and they're big. I mean, I guess they keep eating the cat food if I don't bring it in in time for our cats that are outside. But... Um, yeah, they can they can get really big, and um, so we're gonna put his little feet right here. We're just going to notch it there. Remember, we're measuring it with our finger again. So, and like I've been telling everybody, I won't be here next week. It's election day, and I want to watch TV. All right, so that's one. And then we give them a little feet on either side. Okay, so we'll do the same thing there. Um, they're roughly the same height, but a little smaller. So we're just going to put a little thing there and here. And we're going to go up about the same height. And we're going to just bring that down and around. I usually like to look at it from the corner. Now, I think we've done at least 16 weeks or more of these videos. I have yet to put them on a DVD. I, the only ones I did on a DVD was the um, Nativity set. I do have all those available um, for the smaller set. If you would like one, you can order it online. Uh, my online store, I have them. So I have more lumber now again. I just got a huge order the other part, middle of the last week I'm filling now. Um, and it's it's a pretty good size order. But, uh, all right, so that should all look about the same. Now the back has a tail, as you can see. And the tail is just like so. And we're going to measure them both sides because they got a bushy tail. They really do have a beautiful tail on them, you know, but they can be little vicious little things. I'll never forget there was one on my on the deck and he was eating the cat food. So I know a water pistol, they don't like water. So I wanted him away from it. So, um... Okay, Ruthie and, and Carving Popeye, I'll have it here. And Ruthie, just, you know, just email me or text me later um, through Messenger. Whatever you need, I have it here for you. So no problem. So we're going to go pretty well straight now. But anyway, this, this raccoon, he just wanted this cat food. The next thing I know, he saw me coming with the water pistol. And he put his foot in the dish, and he was trying to take it down the steps with him. It was the funniest sight. It really was. 
All right. Hey, Brittany. Boy, everybody's coming tonight. Wow. All right. So we're going to notch this out at the top of his uh, tail. Um, and yeah, that's how we're going to do that. All this has to be cleaned up. All right. So I'm going to take, well, I'm going to notch each corner out yet first. So we're just going to do a little cut like that. Now this one here, he has little legs in the front. So we're going to, we're going to figure that out in a little bit here. We'll, um, we'll put right next to the foot, we'll put a little where it looks like it's paw, you know, or his leg. So, um, that will work out really well. So let's just pop this out first. And then I'm going to just round this off up to the face. That's all I'm going to do right now, okay? And then once I get that done, we're going to take the, um, once I notch all these out, we're going to take our V-tool again. All right, we're going to follow each of those lines down. Okay, somebody asked how young I was. Well, I just hit my 60th birthday this year, uh, so I'm the youngest of three. So, um, that answers your question. I'm the baby of the family. Anyway. I will just do this. Yes. I'm just following all those lines I just put on. Okay. And here. All right, we're going to trim off the back side of this, and we're going to follow each foot out a little bit more. Right there, we're going to trim all that out. Oh, oh, before I do that, before I do that, let's go back here. We're going to put his... Okay. And we're going to put it like an upside down Y right here. Okay. Their feet are kind of skinny anyway, so. I hear something. Broken. Sorry about that. I forgot to hang on just a second. I need to turn all this stuff off here. I don't need anything ringing. Okay. We're good to go now. Um, so we have kind of the legs in there a little bit. Okay, there's a little Y at the, upside down, like a like a V or a Y. So the first thing I do is I take my V tool and I just go up a little ways. And then we're going to go down towards the foot with and then out on either side that's it all right uh oh okay what happened to my light hang on just a second i never can predict what's going to uh happen here Yes, we had our mother in a home for a while, and then I took her home. Um, she was in a nursing home for a couple of months, and then we took her home because she wanted to come home. So uh, we were fortunate to be able to take care of her here. So, and, uh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to cut the side of the feet out here.
higher rate. So there you go. All right. So that's kind of, we're going to round that all out eventually. And we're going to bring this up a little bit more and tuck that in a little bit further. It's, you know, a lot of it's just blending things in, folks. It's nothing difficult. It's just blending things in. Now the other light one. Hang on just a second. I'm having a problem with this plug down here. Yeah, I never know what will happen when we do things live. When I do it on a video, I can just pretty well uh, stop it when I have a problem. <laughs> it's not like that when you're live. So I try to do my best not having these hiccups along the way. So here we go. So we have the foot sticking out, and we're just going to do a little bit here. We're just going to blend things in a little bit, you know, so get rid of those hard edges. And what do I mean by the hard edges? This is a hard edge right there, that square. Anything that's squared off, this is a hard edge right here. So I always try to round it off a little bit just like that. You know, and to kind of blend it in a little bit so it's not as noticeable. Okay. Yes, I have a different idea for the next time we get together. Um, all right, let me think here. Okay, so we're just going to round this off to the foot. All right, we're just going to round this off a little bit. Give him a little fat body. Oh my goodness gracious. I know my cousin is probably laughing her head off because I keep knocking this over. So I got to keep my feet in the same spot here. Um, all right. So we're going to round off the one part of the body. And let me see, we're just going to round off everything, take all the hard edges off everywhere. And Okay, so that's pretty well what we're doing. And here we're going to just round this off at the bottom. like so and then when we do his face uh, you're welcome Martin um, trying to hurry up here because of time usually when I do these videos individually I'll stop and I'll get caught up on something and then I keep going and they, they used to be like 10 minutes long and I might do 10 or 15 clips or seven or eight depending on the project and this is a little different because I try to finish it all in one shot so it, it takes me a little more time sometimes it takes an hour and a half sometimes it takes an hour and 15 minutes um, as I'm explaining things around you know and stuff so um, so let me take a look at this, see where we're at. Okay, that looks about the same. Again, you're going to take all these hard edges off, all this rough stuff off, if you can. Uh, let's see if I can use my other knife for that. Uh, um, some of you have asked about the Rough Rider knife. Well, the Rough Rider knife I bought, it's made in China. It's not made in the U.S. Um, you can buy it on on uh, eBay all right so I at the number of the the one that I often use and they all look a little different with the handles is a three blade and it's called an RR282 RR282 and you need to sharpen it it's not going to look like this when you get it you're going to have to if you're good at sharpening and re 
shaping it, you can you can do it. Now they run you around fourteen dollars to get it, but the blade holds up really really well. I'm I, you know I use these a lot. Um, if you're not comfortable with doing your own, I have. Of course, I have the um, the Murphy knife that you can purchase if you're not used to that. So, uh, and I got some more Murphy knives in, so I was glad to see that didn't stop. But um, and you notice I'm flipping all over the place with this, um, and I'm going to scoop a little more out. Okay, that's what that's the look I want is scooping it out a little bit more. Just to give it that look like like their faces do have that. So, all right. So the thing we're going to do now is we're going to put the eye in. The eye is, everybody gets hooked up. Like the eyes are a really difficult part of the, the piece. It is not. It is not. All the eyes are done the same. I don't care if it's the Santa the cat, they're just different sizes of the eyes, but they're all basically the same. So you don't have to worry so much if, if you're doing it correctly or not. Now these, I'm going to do it back here so I can see what I'm doing. Um, okay, I see what I did wrong there. Hang on. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> all right. All right, I'm back. I'm okay. I just lost the one thing here. I'm going to have to tape this stuff together on the on the table here because every time I move, I'm hitting something. So uh, <laughs> the one time I lost it twice. So, but anyway, well, let me let me do something back here real quick and see if I can get this just a little more distinct at the corner here. Because, hang on just a second. I'll get it. I know. You're not, you're not seeing anything, but. <laughs> uh, I know. I, I, it's just one of those things. I've, I've kept my language okay with it. So I try, try, not, <laughs> try not to lose it too much. You have to laugh at it, folks. You really do. I mean, if you don't, you can't do this if you can't make a mistake from time to time, really. So, I'm going to put the eyes in. Now, this should have been more of a curve up here, a little shorter. Mine's are a little wider, which is okay. But uh, we can have a wider look. But they usually have very beady, beady eyes. Oh my goodness, they have beady eyes. And, um, Let's see if I can get this. I have to draw this on first. Okay, he's got really beady eyes. Um, you can make it bigger if you want. So there are some raccoons that really have big eyes. Like when you do caricatures, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, I know it's because my family's watching. You're right, Jody. Um, they're making me nervous. No. I don't get nervous before I do this, so I've done it enough times. Uh, I don't care if it if it happens, it happens. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do something still doesn't look right. Okay, there we go. We're going to let me take a look at this. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, something looks really, really off. Folks, we're going to have to redo this a little bit. This has to come down way more than I did it. So, let's just bring this down a little bit more. We're going to take this all off here. And we're going to just bring this down a whole lot more. Because something's not right here. And this has to come down further. That has to be cut out a little further. Okay, that's better. That is much better. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so it's a little bit different. We're going to bring this all the way down. Around. Take that eyebrow off a little more. Alright, good. Alright, that's... That's a little better. 
This head's way too big yet. I'm going to trim some more off the back here. I'm going to trim a little more off the ears here. Okay, that's better. He looked, didn't look right to me for some reason. And I don't have his nose in yet either. So we're going to pop his nose in here. Just a second here. I'll try not to hit anything else off. I'm going to do it with just the knife. I'm just going to follow that up. I'm going to kind of round off this one. This might have to be a little deeper again. Let's see here. All right. So, again, we're going to see how I did that. You know, the top of the head's kind of flat anyway, so it's just a little bit of a curvature. I'm going to get all this rough stuff off of here. All right. And again, I'm going to go in a little deeper with the eyes, just a little bit more. There we go. I need to do both sides back here. It's just a little simpler for me. Okay. Now, let's see if we put the eyeballs in. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. You know, when you do, when do, the eyeballs, let me explain something with the eyeballs. The eyeballs are not that difficult to do. They are all basically the same. They're just going to be different sizes for different animals and different people. So, um, usually a fatter, bigger eye always looks a little nicer. Uh, than a uh, <laughs> than um, than a real skinny or a tiny eye, but sometimes you do have to put a smaller eye in because that's what it calls for. But okay, so now I'm gonna take my little V tool and I'm just gonna put the eye in here. Something is not right on this thing. What is wrong with this thing today? Oh, okay. All right. We'll fix it after we put his eyeball in. The eyes actually have to go in a little deeper. So let's just dig this out a little bit more. After all my little accidents today, I'm, I might need a break for a couple of weeks. Okay. All right. Now we're going to put the eyes in. Finally. All right. We're going to just go ahead and put it in. And we're trying to, going to try to match it. It's very hard to match one side to the other. But we'll do our best. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Now, the V tool, and we're just going to follow this out, and we're going to follow it out the other way, and same thing here, we're just going to, then I'll fix it with a knife, this just gives me a general idea of where to go, I try not to go in too deep. Um, go up here a little bit more. And we're just going to follow the eye again. Like I said, the eyes are basically always the same. You're going to go from the inside to the outside. You're not going to go the opposite way. You're going to do the inside of the eye first. I need a smaller knife to reach in there. So... Yeah. 
and you want to kind of try to round that eyeball out by putting those corners a little deeper, you know, where they meet. And we're going to do the other eye. I'm going to do this really quick because we're running out of time here. Once I finish this up in two weeks, but I don't feel like doing that. And I think you guys will get the idea of how to put the fur in. It's going to be similar to the cat that was preceding this. Okay, there's, there's the two eyes. Now, the nose, I'm going to round off the nose a little bit more. Okay, just like so. Like that. And it's just a matter of going back over stuff, you know. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. So much easier if I can do it back here, but that doesn't help you guys at all. Okay. All right, there's this little nose. We're going to put that. We're going to put this little thing in here. Take the little V tool and go right up through the center. And on either side. There we go. And a lot of times when you try to copy a piece that you've already done, it never really turns out exactly the same. That's part of the handwork on doing these. So uh, I'm going to round this nose down a little bit more. And I'm going to I'm going to put a little triangular cut for his mouth right there. Yeah. Okay, just like so. Okay? That's it. Now his eyeballs of course have to be redone a little bit. They look a little square and scary to me, so. Alright, and the ears are pretty simple, so the face is pretty well done. Um, if you want to scoop this out a little bit more, you certainly can. Um, that's up to you if you want to do that. Um, you can try to make this more, more noticeable on each corner, like each side, and get that point to stick out a little bit more. And more... The more you scoop it out, the more that gets pronounced a little bit more, okay? So, the ear, so we got to work on the ear. The ear is a little bit rounded, so we're going to just, you don't want to go this way. You want to go with the grain and just round off that tip a little bit. And then bring this down a little bit there. There we go. Just like so. All right. Just like so. Alright. In the back here, you want to kind of scoop this out behind the ear. Alright. Kind of blend that all together a little bit. It doesn't have to be real crazy, but you just want to kind of blend all that in, in the back. Alright. This all has to be blended in too. You know, you go around and you take care of all that, those spots that are or rough, you know, but yeah, um, let me take a look here. Yeah, so you can go up here a little bit and just make that ear stick out a little bit more. It's it's fine. So and again, getting the ears to match can be a bit of a challenge, but uh, you know, you do your best. Yeah. Now that looks like a bear ear. We don't want a bear ear. We want a raccoon ear. So we're going to come straight down. Okay, because they have more like a V shape ear, and I'm going to just bring this down, okay, just like so. All right, and then we're going to go back here, we're going to blend all this in, scoop this out. Yeah, it's coming along, it's coming, it's coming. Good. And And the legs, we're gonna do the feet yet, but you get the idea. I'm gonna work on those eyeballs a little bit. They're a little, 
creepy to me, so I'll have to, um, uh, it's amazing what, what we end up doing. Okay, so the inside of the ear, how I usually work with that is I usually get a small little, well, let's see, this one, not that one. Hang on, I'll be right back. Um, here's a small, my smaller one, all right? I think it's a, I don't remember the size, but it's a small of the three gouges I have. So the first thing I do when I scoop that out, because that's pretty pronounced on a raccoon, is the ears. So I'm going to go here on the base, a little bit away from the edge. I'm going to dig it in kind of deep. I pop it out through the other side. I don't want to lose the ear either, but it's just a couple of sweeps. So you're going to go in deeper in the center. Then you're going to bring it back out. And you're going to do both ears that way. And I'll show you what transpires. Now, if you are scooping this out and it doesn't come out right away, you don't pull on it. You take your knife and you recut it. So let me show you how this works. So you're going to take your little, and you're going to stay away about an eighth of an inch from your edge there, okay? And you notice it already popped out a couple of times, so, and you're going to need your knife a couple of times to clean this out right. But I try to get a little closer than this. Uh, I'm just doing this real quick to show you. And I'm just going very, very carefully around it okay so the deeper you can get that the better it is but you don't want to pop out on the other side and you want to round everything up when you're done they're cute creatures but i heard they can be really mean if you're not careful now see it's not coming out freely so i take my knife and i just go back and i scoop it out there you go all right, I just make my cut flush with the with the head. That's what you want to do. You don't want to go too crazy here with it, but um, yeah, that works out pretty good. All right, so you can do one side, and then you can do the other side the same way. I usually start in the center, work my way to the edge. But now I know some of it's not popping out, and that's okay. I'll just take my knife and. I'll try to um, try to make it nice and even all the way around. That is not even, but you can go a little wider with a, a little bit wider um, gouge if you want. Let me see if here I have one that's a little wider. You could use this one. To scoop it out. This one's the second size up, and then I have one even wider than this for different things. So yeah, actually this works pretty good. The raccoons are um, they're different. Okay, so all right, so that's how that's done. Um, And really, once you paint this, the colors that it is, then you'll really, it really stands out. All right. So, actually, these ears are a little bit bigger. So, if you want to make them a little bit bigger, you can just take it closer to the edge. See, there's a little bit of an edge here. I'll just take my knife and I'll go right up to the edge there. And it will make it look appear a little bit bigger. All right. Because, you know, we're limited with because of the block and um and that so all right so that's pretty well the head um i know there's a lot more uh touch up that i have to do especially with the ears in the back here you want to make sure you round these little ears off you know um let me see if i can just there we go <laughs> that's okay mule um 
Yeah, if it looks like a kitty, I'm in trouble. It can. I mean, you know, they're very similar. A lot of these things are, a lot of these animals are very similar. It's just the size of ears or their mouth or their nose or their eyes or the way their fur lays. You know, um, it's all a little different. All right, so I notice this is really, really crooked here. And it's just taking a long time to get this where I'm comfortable with, happy with the way it looks, you know. And, you know, you keep fussing with it and rounding things off a little bit. Um, so I'll be back in two weeks again when we do the next bit. Okay, the tail. The tail is pretty, pretty simple to do. We're just going to follow that down a little bit, and we're going to just hack a little more off the top here. I really wasn't sure how the live uh, videos were going to be real clear or not. Um, and I've been pretty pleased with how they work out. Of course, if I did it separately and I just did it my, the old the old way I did it, uh, it would have been much clearer. But um, everybody seems to ha like the live stuff better. Because so then they can see my mistakes all at the same time, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, let's knock that out a little bit further. And once you get done doing this portion of it, you're just going to blend everything in. All right. And then I tack that to the back of the body. You know, smooth that out again. Um, now you could have made the, the tail a little bit longer if you wanted. Yeah. Caricatures are so much fun because you can adapt them any way uh, that you want. Well, thank you, Jack. Um, you can pretty well do anything you want with them. Now, I didn't put any... Uh, I had split the feet in the front because they're two different paws with this thing. Or feet, whatever you call it. Um, let's take care of that right now. And I'm just going to go over how I do the 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 um, the fur or the hair, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's see here. Let's pop that out again here. I'm not happy with that either. Eh, it doesn't always go the way you think. Sometimes it's just. That's okay. You know, and, and if if you're doing a piece and it doesn't look exactly, you can always, you know, adjust it um, later on. Like, I'm going to adjust a lot on this when I get offline here because I notice there's a couple things I need to do uh, a little differently. But the feet here is pretty simple. All I do is take my little V tool and I go right up through the center. To separate the feet and then I know they have little claws <laughs> their feet are really creepy looking uh, if you've ever seen them up close they you know they're not cute like a cat they they really have these these claws on it and um, I'm gonna round this off a little bit so it really is um, different again I'm gonna get rid of all these hard edges all right so that's pretty well how this thing is carved up. Um, I have a couple other things here to do. And let's see if we can take that. All right, so his feet are now separated. Now I'm going to try to... There I'm going to go a little deeper, right where the top of his, like the paws are. And I'm going to recut that a little bit. All right. 
And then if you want, you can put a, a couple of things to show that it's little claws in there. All right, just like so. All right. Um, okay, how do you do the hair on this thing? Well, that's kind of interesting. It's just like the cat. You kind of just follow it. I'll show you the direction of where it should go. I won't finish it all here. It's going to be take way too long. But I'll start it. Okay, let's start. I can always clean this up a little later. Um, if you notice on this little guy, I always, from the front, I always bring it out. Like to the right or to the left. All right? You're welcome. And... Um, and the same thing here, I go inward towards the tail. So it's into the tail, and it's away from the face. That's one way. Away from the face, into the tail, okay? And the same thing with the head. I, I actually come across, but it kind of comes together here. And then uh, when I'm doing, I don't do anything to the middle portion, but I will, like, span this out. And we'll we'll start on that here. Hang on just a second. Let me just clean up a little bit here so I can start doing this. Especially on the face to show you. Because right here, uh, they kind of all come together to a point here, right? So uh, we're just going to go from here and we're just going to bring it up and out. So, so I always go towards... And there's a little, yeah, let's, let's figure this out here. We're going to go down this way, okay, just a little bit. And we're going to just go... Okay, and a little strokes, long strokes. There's no right or wrong way of doing this, really. Okay, and then we're just going to kind of go up to the head here. All right, so that's how that's done. Do the other side here in a second. All right, and we're going to do the same thing here. You want to kind of do the same direction. You don't want it to look so uneven um, compared to doing one versus the other. So let's do it this way. There we go. And, you know, here you're going up. All right, you're going up. And... Alright, so that's how that's done. Alright, so now you're going to do the eyebrow, and we're going to bring that down just a tad. Make it a little bit flatter. There we go. I'm going to go up past the nose here. Little strokes. Just to give it some texture. We're going to leave the nose alone. Oh, hello, Laura. Boy, the whole family's coming out tonight. Wow. Um, I guess this is one way to see everybody. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know, my family's all up in Canada, and that border's been closed for a while now, so it's... Um, let me see if I have another V-tool here. That one's a little dull. Hang on just a second. Nope, not that one either. Mm -hmm. There we go. And we're going to go right up to the ear. All right. 
Hello, Ethan. And thank you. I try to make it, this look okay. It's kind of tough when I haven't done one of these in a while. I should have done one this week, but other things got in the way this week. So, all right. So we're just going to keep going here. I don't think I ever had so much family pop in on a live video. Kind of nice. See everybody. I want to hear from everyone. So, I have a feeling I will not see them till next spring at the rate things are going. So, um, that's going to be kind of sad, but you know, we have to be safe, that's for sure. Yeah, all right. So, that's kind of where we're at with this. I know I've got a lot of cleanup here to do. but So we're going out, out, and up and over. All right. So um, up and over. And then when you get on this side, I'm just going to draw this out for you. It comes down this way. And then the ears, it comes down this way and this way. All right. So it comes in this way this way and this way then when you get here remember in the front you're going to fan it out you're going to fan it out on both sides when you do the legs you want to fan it in opposite directions that will make the legs stand out a little bit more okay see how i have it in a separate directions all right and you're going to go from here down okay you're going to start fanning it out this way okay and as you come around the corner you're going to end up going towards the tail all right this all has to be cleaned off but and then the tail is straight down uh when you do use your v-tool all right just try to keep your v-tool nice and sharp you know and try to uh, take your time doing it i'm i've been in a rush because of the time factor if I was doing these individually, I would have taken my time and do a section at a time and show you the different sections. But we don't have that luxury here. So, uh, and I don't want to bore you with repetition. All right. So any other questions before I sign off? Um, you're welcome to ask. You know, um, the black, I think it's burnt umber and burnt sienna for the body. And then it's just black going across for the um, the tail and the feet and the claws and the face. And I put a little white around the ears, a little white around the eyes, and a dot for the eye. And the nose is, of course, black. Uh, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in two weeks. Um, remember I will not be here next week and then I may have a little surprise for you I think you'll get a kick out of it so I've got it in my head I have yet to carve it so we'll see where it goes from there all right folks thanks for joining me here on the carver's wood shop I'll finish this one up and uh, have a photograph of it later on on Facebook for you all right take care and uh, be safe bye bye